Hello and welcome to Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center. Today we are celebrating the 127th anniversary of the first chiropractic adjustment and the birth of chiropractic. That happened September 18, 1895 when Dr. Dee Palmer heard a story from his janitor where the janitor had been over, heard a click in his neck and then lost his hearing. Dr. Palmer then palpated his neck and upper back, found that there was a lump, he reduced that lump down, and then Harvey Lillard's hearing came back. And that was the birth of chiropractic. So we're celebrating that this week in our office. Now, today I wanted to explain two theories of how his hearing came back. One of the theories was that the second cervical vertebra was out of alignment, and then Dr. Palmer felt that that vertebra was shifted over and then shifted it back into place with his hands. That took the pressure off nerves that allow his hearing to come back. Well, there's not a direct nerve that goes from C2 to the hearing, so people came up with another theory to explain how the hearing came back. And when we look at the spine, when we go down to T1, C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, T1. The T1 vertebra has a direct nerve supply to the blood supply of the inner ear. So many people think that Dr. Palmer adjusted T1. In my neurology program, we talked about this quite a bit. And the theory that was overwhelmingly uh, that everybody agreed on is probably what happened was the upper neck, the first cervical and the second cervical, has a huge sensory input into the brainstem. And so when your brainstem is working better right here, and the signals come in from the ear into that brainstem, the better this area works, the better you're going to be able to hear. And so when D.D. Palmer adjusted that C2, it helped the brainstem work better, and then the signal was able to get in from the ear and he was able to hear again. I hope that helped you guys learn about the first chiropractic adjustment and how we think it brought Harvey Lillard cheering back. And I wish you a fabulous day. Go outside and make yourself a great day.